So this is a story I wanted to read for a while. The story of the men punching random women in New York City. Oh, this you, story. You heard about that? Yeah, I heard about this. This was back in uh, the beginning of April. Right now it's... We're at the end of April, the last few days. Oh. And this is by Salon. Men punching random women in New York City. A desperate last grasp of the male rage fueling MAGA. <laughs> we got to get up, guys. Listen, MAGA's almost dead. We got to get out of rage. Let's go punch some women to get it out. No, no, no. Is that it? What? No. It's the male rage that's like charging up MAGA. Oh, it's giving them power. I thought yeah. you meant like they're, it's a last desperate attempt. No, not by them. No, this is oh. MAGA. They're fueling themselves because everyone knows there's just so many MAGA guys running around punching women in the head in New York City because in New York oh, the damn menaces. Uh, is, is a very red city. Like oh, so, so red that you have Maybe they're renegades. MAGA guys literally running in the streets punching women in the head. Maybe they're outlaws, Maybe. renegades. They got that MAGA energy just charging up and they need to release it. And the, yeah. and the one thing they know to hit that will definitely give a guarantee satisfaction is a woman's head. Random New York City attacks are an extreme manifestation of men feeling entitled to women's time and attention by punching them in the skull. Is this, is this just more just... <laughs> It's just, just like another step of those like weird prank videos. Like remember the one where people just throw water in people's face, but then mm. there was also a rise well, of. Well, uh, I mean, there was only like it's like next a level few to violence of this happening. I just yet. assume this is a normal thing in New York. People just start punching each that's other in the I head. I thought so too, but then they started writing articles about it, and then all of a sudden I was like, wait, that's not normal. I, mean, I thought that was the New York standard: just punching people, especially women, in the head. As usual with these kinds of diffuse and chaotic stories, there's much that is unknown, including how often this is happening, how many people are involved, or whether it's at all coordinated. Or whether but, it's each actually MAGA. <laughs> yeah, but we do know it is already alarming. CNN reports that dozens of women have discussed being victims on social media and formally interviewed six of them. That has nothing to do with this. Uh, Wait, they just randomly interviewed six women? Let me read that. But what we do know is that it's already alarming. CNN reports that dozens of women have been discussed being victims on social media. Wait a minute. They got punched in the head on social media? No. What? CBS News reported that New York Police Department released images last week of a fourth man wanted for allegedly punching a woman in Union Square. Even reality TV star Bethany Frank Frankel says she's been victimized. I don't know what one has to do with the other. We have okay. fourth man wanted for allegedly punching a woman. But even reality TV star, they don't say Bethany Frankel was punched, but she just says she's been victimized. Bear with me. Okay. <laughs> Women report being assaulted by men of different races and ages. Still, across the different stories, a couple of similarities pop out. The alleged victims are mostly young and pretty, and most of them say they were minding their own business when they were attacked. Some were on their phones or reading on tablets. Others were speaking to friends or daydreaming. Shut up. Whatever they were doing, they were just living their lives, and that, it seems, is what enraged their assailants. So the so, reason these minute. guys... So these guys got mad because they were just minding their own business? Yeah. Damn women living their damn lives. Why aren't they? Why aren't they being nags to me? Just it's making me pissed off. Like damn it, I, I they're just they're just on their damn phones and not and daydreaming and daydreaming. They're probably thinking about other guys that aren't me. I'm just okay. That's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna unsheathe my fist and use it on this woman's skull. There, I gave you a new soft spot, woman. Just I like I feel like. Is that really like? Do they do they have proof that that's their motivation? Now, mind you, Jared, we have or is that just so many like, more parables to go oh through? Oh gosh! Like, is that their motivation, or is that just something they said? Oh, that's probably what happened. I think that's what the writer on this is assuming. This is a commentary. Because I thought the point okay. of this is that we don't know a lot. I guess like, uh, you just continue, continue. I need it. Yeah. I want to get more information, just, so I'm more confused. I don't know how much of this we're going to keep in because. This is a big article. Speed read it. Like, I'm trying. Whatever the scale of this problem eventually turns out to be, it's not surprising that these stories have gone viral and captured the public's imagination. That's not a good thing. <laughs> we'll make up whatever we want. 
Uh, while it rarely turns to violence, they're getting. Oh, wait, violence already happened, though. <laughs> Punching people well, in the head usually doesn't go to violence, but in this I, case, it does. Well, I think they're. I think he's. Or she. I don't know what the heck wrote this. It's probably a thing, Caleb. I think they're talking about violence breaking out from people's reactions to it or something. Uh, oh, so like, more people got violent after like, they saw women get punched in the well, head? I, I I said, like, I'm going to join in on it, too. <laughs> well, they're like rioting over it or something. Right. Okay, what riots happened? Well, none. I'm okay. saying what okay, they so think you're... is happening. Okay. Okay, so you... <laughs> okay, yeah. Most women who spend much time walking around in public have experience with men who, who berate them for paying attention to something other than the man who is now, often out of nowhere, spewing in invectives. In our modern era, that often manifests with men who are infuriated at women for looking at their phones. But I'm old enough to remember when I would get yelled at for reading books in public. None of these examples come off as even remotely I, realistic. I mean, we're not city boys. Yeah, I'm um, not a city boy. And I know there's some loony guys. But at the same time, isn't the whole point of this is that they don't know why they're punching the ladies? It's just random. Yeah. But they're kind of assuming that... But there is, despite the fact that it's random, there is some very clear motivation. It's totally random. Also, the MAGA guys are doing it. Do they have MAGA caps? Do they have a Donald Trump t-shirt? Do they have Donald no. Trump brass knuckles? Do they run Probably away and after- They're black. Are they black? Oh, yeah, they're, they're definitely guys. MAGA fans then. Whatever this, the excuse the angry man concocts. <laughs> oh, the stuff that what, I concoct in my Whatever the brain. excuse. We, we don't have any recorded excuses at all. I'm just totally throwing these ideas out. Um, the impetus is always the same. The eyes of a woman are directed at someone or something that is not him, and he is indignant over it. So he will make sure she has no choice but to look at him, either by getting in her face or, in these alarming New York cases, punching her. Cool. Is that actually None, related to this? If, not really. If he cannot capture her adoring gaze, well, he will make her stare at him in fear. For back in caveman times, I guess. Person thinks we're still in the caveman era. Pretty woman, That's not the... looking at me, must give her attention. <laughs> now she look. Okay, Drew, this part's intended for you. Oh, oh me? Okay. These stories resonate as well. Because the nation is having a moment of increasingly unhinged male fury at women for daring to have lives that are centered around something other than catering to a man's every whim. Unleashed by Mo Donald Trump and the MAGA movement, there's an upswell of loud male entitlement shouting at us from every corner. I think I get what this person's trying to say. She really wants these guys to punch her in the head, or him. Is it a dude? Oh my god, is that, was that him? It's Amanda Marcotte. Mar okay, it is a woman. Mar yeah, definitely. Okay, well, I think this lady, you know what, I, I figured it out. This woman's jealous. She really wants to get punched in the head too. She really wants to get the these guys' attention. This lady. She just wants to really make out hard with a MAGA guy. She just lacks lust. She's, she desires them. She wants them bad. She wants to feel what it feels like to be held by a real man. She, she wants to, him to whisper in her ear, make America great again. She's like, no, kiss me. And she's, <laughs> and she's into weird kinky stuff like hitting and stuff. Now this is, this is where it gets uh, uh, dead serious. We see it in the male fans of Jordan Peterson, who clamor to his events to hear him croak out a just-so story about how lobsters justify their faith in male dominance. Or, or the rise of trad wives online who make a living pretending they're unemployed and housebound. Or Ben Shapiro setting fire to a Barbie doll because he can't stand that a blockbuster comedy starring a woman is about anything but her quest for male affection. I will say that that whole thing was really weird and funny. Probably not in the way Ben Shapiro intended to be I didn't funny. know he did that. I, I remember seeing that. I was just kind of like, okay. This will definitely solve all Jordan of our problems. Jordan Peterson can talk about lobsters whenever he wants. Like, we're all, we're all free human beings by the end of the day. And this person's free to punch me in the head. I don't care. And then they say, or MAGA pundits telling lies about birth control in hopes of tricking women into having babies before they're ready. Or conservatives writing op-eds that blame women for male loneliness, telling women that they must self-sacrifice to relieve male pain by marrying Donald Trump voters. What? <laughs> Wait, wait or, a minute. Or, what? Or, are you... 
If, uh, I don't think <laughs> I've heard anyone say, listen, if we want to save the human race, you got to marry a Trump listen, voter. I think I... No Trump supporter, I don't think, has ever spouted desire for Trump voters to marry liberals <laughs> or right-wing men yelling because Taylor Swift has cats or because... What? She, or because... This is, the, this is the best part. Get ready for this. Or because she dates a hunky vaccinated NFL player instead of, I don't know, having babies with a guy in ill-fitting cargo shorts. I swear I heard this before where they get pissed off about cargo shorts. I swear I've seen this before. Also, I think she's marrying this NFL player probably for the money because she know he'll die soon from the... From all, the those, from all the vaccines injected into each strand of his uh, nipple hairs. The word backlash in reference to the famous Susan Faludi book that chronicled the dramatic recession of women's right and status in the 80s, which erased much of what was gained by the second wave of feminism, gets thrown around a lot. And these things indeed tend mm. to be... Wait, the late 90s... I honestly didn't understand any of that. The late, just, oh, wait, Jared, it. it's not even done yet. How can Is you it? understand it if I'm not done? The late 90s, early 2000s was another backlash period as the rise of limp biz kit, George W. Bush, and, <laughs> and trucker caps eclipsed the relatively feminist mid-90s. Now I get it. This person doesn't like limp biscuit. She doesn't like limp biscuit getting, talking about people to shut up in every song he makes. Um, I'm just going to skip like the next two pages. Person then proceeds to quote Limp Bizkit Because songs. she talks about Barbie again. Ugh. All the male belly aching about Barbie and Taylor Swift did nothing to dent tickets. Oh, my scales. stomach. Oh, that's from Barbie and Taylor Swift. Wait a minute, weren't they talking about being punched in the head? That's what I'm trying to find. Uh, this just talks about women. They just talk about sh polling and women and Roe v. Wade. Okay. Talking about the rise, fat Trump the rise of MAGA <laughs> is fueled by misogyny, but it's less a backlash than a tantrum, a rage explosion by men who want to restore their dominance, but fear that this time women won't buckle to their bullying. Well, here's the thing. We don't need to do anything because those women... I don't need to marry you. The thing is, their bloodline's dead. They don't want to have babies, and they're not getting married, so they're just going to die out. Simple. You're basically giving yourself self-extinction. Like, this lady doesn't need to worry about anything. They'll be gone soon. Don't worry, you'll be the, dead and not have to deal with any of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It got dark. This rash of men punching women in the New York in New York City captures this moment in a dark way. We don't even know their names or faces to, to know that the men who do this are losers. Lashing out because... We don't know who they are, but I'm 100% confident this big list of things we listed down. This whole lore backstory true. I created. Or self-blame. There's something nakedly pathetic about punching women. As scary as it is for the victims, it's not like the catcalling or groping of old, which disguised male aggression as a mere over-exuberance over -exuberance of lust. This is a last gasp of men who, unable to justify their sexism in any way, must resort to brute force. Yet even then, they're unable to shut women up. The end. Now, I would like to say, that was... Beautiful, but I don't think this woman did any research at all. I, my guess, my first, I never said this I mean, in the beginning. I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video, but my guess right away would have been it's just a bunch of like, a bunch of people doing terrible pranks. Because some people will do awful pranks, just like, oh, if I hurt someone, that'll be pretty funny. Yeah. I think it's Notice funny. Notice how uh, she, see the, reaction. the punching the women thing only lasted for the first couple paragraphs. Yeah. It was like the Avatar Last Airbender thing where. It, it was like the punching the women thing was basically clickbait just so that they could vent. Get you on the article because that's something anyone would have I looked up. Like, it's like, oh, now here's guys, the thing. Women are man punch, what's happening? Then you scroll down and you're just like, why is this telling me that big fat MAGA voters should be marrying like uh, AOC? I, what? That Jordan Peterson and Ben Shapiro are evil? I think, real, really, in a non goofy acting way, I think uh, this lady should be completely fired for this terrible piece of... This isn't journalism. This isn't a real story. Like, you don't deserve your job if you're gonna do this. You know what this is? It's IRL fan fiction. Yeah, you're just writing fan fiction. This is not... You have no right as to call yourself a journalist. I mean, I hope this person doesn't. Uh, it does. I, think, I think the official title for this person should be liberal fanfic writer. 
I think that's how most people should be labeled. But IRL fan I don't writers. think you are deserving of money. I wonder how much how much do you get paid for writing stuff like that? You know, I've never actually looked up how much money do journalists make. So a pay can range. Well, most articles are between 800 and 6,000 words, which means the pay can range from 250 to $1,500 per article. And I mean, if you're just cranking out like crappy articles all the time, you'd probably be living pretty damn well. See, that just comes off as a scam. It's like, okay, you just write your fan fiction event. Because they probably got to fill these out with a certain amount of like pick, pick words. Any, pick anything. Fill anything that's happening. Okay, 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 here. Give me money. Okay. Give me money. Uh, cicadas coming to... The cicada nightmare coming across America is a great representation of Trump's wrath on America. <laughs> Trump is Moses. I could literally write... Joe easy, Biden is easily. Ramsey's. Like you only you only need to talk about whatever the fake headline is. The headline just has to be talked about for maybe a paragraph or two, not that difficult. And then you just run your laundry list of all the usual things you would say about Trump or whatever the subject of actual interest is that you just want to rag on. And then boom, you get uh what, like five hundred bucks for probably th three hours of work. Yep. And then just repeat that every uh, couple days, wow. and you made a probably a decent amount of money to make a living. I, I should just delete all my history and erase myself and get a new name, <laughs> and then find one of these people to work for. Calvin Stringinsky. He could be a well, known socialist, communist, uh, libertarian. Yeah. Uh, he writes uh, articles about how we should free the black man from the white man because they because they want to make him a. Yeah, I feel so bad. For want to make him a astronaut slaves to collect moon rocks. Yeah, on Mars or whatever planet.